701, we're always looking for something fun to do, especially before summer is over. In today's studio, 70Fun, we want to talk about the fun that is still available this August. Renee from Bismarck Parks and Rec is joining us now. Thank you so much for being here, Renee. Thanks for having us. So, you know, sadly, pools do have to close <laughs> this month, but there is a really big end of summer celebration, especially for all the dog lovers out there. Yep. So what is the pool pooch party all about? Well, um... The end of day on August 13th, Hillside and Wachter have, are closing. We, we start to lose staff and things like that. So what we do is on Saturday at Wachter, we open it up for a pool pooch party because that gives us time to let the chemicals kind of get through the pool. They shut everything down on that Friday. And then Saturday starting at noon for the small dogs and one o'clock for big dogs, um, we have this pool pooch party and it's a blast. I've, I've gone and watched it a couple of times before. It's a free event. We do take donations that will go towards some improvements at the, at the dog park. Um, and they just come and play in our pools. You know, like a, like a kid would come swimming, the dogs get to come swim at the pools. And it's a really fun, it's popular. It's just a fun thing to do for the end of the season and it doesn't affect the dogs and it doesn't really give us extra work. It's just kind of a great thing to do for the community. Okay, this is gonna be so much fun. I have never seen anything like this in my <laughs> life. I would never think of putting my dog into the pool, but Renee, you said this is safe? For the dogs, they don't have to worry about the chlorine or chemicals or anything? Right. Or? We, they shut everything down when, at, at the end of um, close on, on the 13th when the pool will close. And then it, it gives it at least 12 hours to kind of clear out. So it's totally safe. We've never had an issue there. Dogs and their owners just love it. It's just a fun <laughs> time. And, it, you know, with the, with the hot weather we've had, and it continues, mm -hmm. you know, I'm guessing it won't go away anytime soon. It's a really fun thing for everybody to do. Oh, yeah. My dog, Chewy, he's a retriever lab. He is going to love that. <laughs> I think he's already waiting at the he gate. He wishes, yeah. yeah, he could go to the pool every time. But yeah. um, how long, Renee, do we have to enjoy? You mentioned the dates, but once again, before the pools do close for the season, I know we have some video also of um, Hillside Pool. Hillside and Wachter Pool will close at end of day, August 13th, but we will keep Elks Pool open until end of day, um, August 22nd. You know, like, like most people, we, don't, we just lose staff at this time, um, so we're trying our very best to keep at least one open so people have the opportunity to still go swimming. And um, all of our pools are great, um, fun activities, low cost, so, um, and the, all that information is on our website if you forget exactly which day, which pool closes what day. But yeah, this is Hillside, super popular pool. Oh, super yeah. fun. And as a mom of little ones, I can tell you, we appreciate you staying open as long as you can. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Especially Elks, because that's uh, really great for the little it ones. It's mm -hmm. perfect for the little guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you also have a big pickleball tournament happening. So the sport of pickleball, we need to try that sometime, Michael. I do not know what pickleball is. Okay, well, I've, I've seen it. So yeah. how popular is this sport becoming in Bismarck? Pickleball is exploding in Bismarck. Um, uh, we had a lot of, um, we, we have new courts that are up at the Elk Ridge Park. We have courts kind of all over the city right now. We have some indoor ones, but um, it's just, I, we kind of, our class, we, we've offered some beginner classes and some, you know, intermediate and advanced. Those classes are filling. So these tournaments are just a really fun time to get some new and intermediate and advanced players together. And they just have a blast. But this is probably one of our, if not the fastest growing sport for, for us right now. I know it's been... Uh, nationwide, it's been growing too, but it, you know, we're kind of, our weather and things uh, inhibit some things, but boy, it's just a great sport and anybody of any skill level can play it. I think that's what's really great about it. Yeah, I noticed that those, the people playing there looked um, like they're a bit older, but they were nailing it. That was pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. I think it's for all ages yeah. Yeah. and yeah. Um, yeah. it does seem to be more popular. I know the Elk Ridge area has a a new pickleball uh, court. Yeah. Yep. We thought we were on a tennis court, and I said, this is, this is smaller than a tennis court, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> it's a little bit smaller, a little bit different. Yep. Uh, we need to try that out sometime, Michael. Definitely. Looks like mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Definitely. Sure. The day the babies. <laughs>
on its oh, way I out. I could still do it. I'm telling you. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll Renee do it Renee knows I love to play volleyball. Yeah. I'm still I'm still trying to be active. We can still do it, Michael. Okay. We can still do it. That sounds good. Well, if we don't want to be active, Renee, I hear you also do movies in the park, which I'm a big fan about. Can you tell us about what you're offering for movies in the park? We have a movie in the park at the end of the month on August 27th. It'll be at Lions Hillside. It's the Wonder Woman 84. Um, what's nice about the movies that are later in the season is we get to start them a little bit earlier. You know, when we're in June, we're not starting these movies sometimes till 10.30, 10.45. But the August one, we get to start a little bit earlier, you know, probably 9, 9.30 time frame. There will be concessions available here. Um, we're just really fortunate. Sweatco is, is helping to sponsor this movie. And it's just a fun family event. You just come and bring chairs, blankets, set up, watch the movie, and have a good time. And something else you can enjoy are songs at Sibley. Can you tell us about that? The song at Sibley, I have to look at my cheat sheet here. It is August 19th, and this is the third in a series of um, just some open music at, at Sibley. It's at the Amphitheater. It's a free event. The Mooncats will be performing uh, from 7 to 9 on the 19th. Okay, that sounds fun, too. There's so much good stuff going on. You know, why does summer have to be coming to a close? <laughs> well, that's why we have to get out and do these things, <laughs> that, including right. roller skating, yeah. which uh, we know that you've offered because we went and got to do that for 7-0 fun one time. Tell us yeah. about that. We are so excited about this. You know, uh, the Bizman Bombshells did a matching grant to help us get rental roller skates, which, of course, is going to make this even more fun because... Um, I used to have skates, but it was in the 80s, and I don't have them anymore, <laughs> so it's nice that we are able to offer the rental skates now, and, and it's a, it's a low-cost event. People can just go there and skate around, um, and it's just a fun, again, another fun family activity. We have youth sizes. We have adult sizes. It's going to be offered through the month of August until we have to put ice back in, you know, one of the, the sheets, but um, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we're, we're so happy to be able to offer it. Get out and give it a try while you can. Thank yep. you so much, Renee. Lots to do. No one can say there's nothing to do happening no. in Bismarck Mandan. Thank you so much, Renee. You're welcome. This has been Studio 70 Fun. And for more information, check out bizparks.org. Michael, I'm telling you, pickleball, we need to try that out. Pickleball? Yes. Yeah. Where it's does the pickles so come in? You like pickles. That's <laughs> why you like this. We need to ask her why. Yeah. Why is it called pickleball? Yeah. You just imagine pickles flying the, around. The yeah. winner gets to eat pickles. <laughs> so now, so now I'm really in. Whether you win or lose, I'll buy you pickles anyway. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> well, coming up next, uh, Marlo's going to let us know what we should know on our National Day calendar. And we have some entertainment news coming up next.